Hello, and welcome to the Jackie Boswell Show, presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined here with Stevenson Women's Basketball Coach Jackie Boswell. Coach, you had kind of a busy mm-hmm. week. Um, we'll touch briefly on your opener. Um, you opened up at Albright Conference Play on Wednesday, um, a game where the final score was probably a little not indicative of the game all the way through. Right, I would agree with that. I thought that in the third quarter we were within 11, got a few key stops, and couldn't score in between those stops. So um, I think that the stops is halfway there where yeah. we want to get to, and then you just got to be able to score. And we could have made a run there. So we really stopped our own run, I thought. Um, so, uh, yes, I would agree with that. I, I think that we can clean some things up and, and do some things a little bit better, and, and I think we're right there. Yeah, obviously, and obviously a tough place to open up conference play, Albright. You know, I don't think they've lost a conference game in a couple of years and things like that. So, obviously, you know, like you said, well, obviously you don't want to get the loss. There's some things to build off in that game. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that's a tough place to play on the road and open up against it. But um, really happy with what we can learn from there and, and able to bounce back for the weekend. Yeah, and then Saturday you had your home conference opener against Widener, bounce back, um, 13-point victory. Um, I know the one set that I was very impressed with, especially in that kind of up-and-down game, was just six turnovers. Um, You know, especially in a game that's kind of running guy. I mean, that's, you know, it's taking care of the ball pretty well. Yeah, I thought we did a really good job of taking care of the basketball and, and um, you know, was able to convert some easy points on the offensive end and then just got some key scoring from a lot of different people. So when all of that kind of stuff is going right on the offensive end, it does allow us to take better care of the basketball. And, you know, a lot of credit goes to Imani Sanders, who is playing like a senior and mm-hmm. she's doing some really good things out there for us, controlling the offense and controlling the tempo a lot too is, is what we need her to do. And, and she was able to do that and just, you know, be able to keep the turnover rate down. Yeah, I mean, one of the things, too, we've kind of talked about, your defense creates offense, and that was certainly the case on Saturday. Yes, definitely. Couldn't be more happy with the defensive end effort on that game. Yeah, and you talk, and you touched a little bit about Amani before we talk about Sunday's game. You know, she seems to be a lot more aggressive going to the basket, and, you know, teams just can't kind of lay off her because she's willing, you know, go to the basket, and, you know, she's made a few of those, so they can't just kind of stay off her as maybe as they have in the past. Right. I, I know that she focused on that over the summer, you know, just making sure that she could step up and make some shots for us as a senior. And she's definitely done that for us. And now um, that she does, re- you know, understand and know that we have some other scoring around her as well, she does her part and, and then dishes it off to the people for them to do their part. So it's all starting to come together a little bit on the offensive end, but uh, you're right, dictated by the defense first. Yeah. And then Sunday, uh, less than a 24 hour turnaround, <laughs> um, you'll play Washington Lee in a game that. You know, it was pretty exciting throughout. I mean, neither team led by more than a handful of points. Um, and then you're able to come down. You're down seven with a minute to go and come back to win that game on a last-second shot. Um, just kind of take us through that game, especially that final minute. Well, that was exciting at the end there. Uh, I thought both teams were pretty tired. Um, it was a very low-scoring game for both mm-hmm. teams, uh, you know, because WNL was coming off of a game the day before with NYU yeah. as well. So both teams were looked a little tired, I thought, um, missed some easy shots. Um, but – I, I'm happy with our toughness. I thought we showed a lot of mental toughness, like you said, to be able to um, be down by that much with less than a minute to go and, and force two turnovers, get to the basket a couple times, get to the free throw line, and then rebound off of that missed free throw that John Yehe. I thought that, that was a big turning point as well for her to get those easy two points. So, um, But showed a lot of maturity, which you wouldn't have expected when there was, I think, two freshmen on the floor at the time that all this was happening. So um, to be able to keep our heads and keep our composure, I thought it was a tough place to play. And, you know, we worked through all of that. So that was really good adversity for us. Yeah, I mean, I was impressed with, you know, watching the final minute, you know, Brandy Hall, you know, stepping up to take that shot. With, you know, that's a shot you just don't, don't normally see a freshman step up and take, especially right. when you're down. Um, you know, so she showed a lot of, you know, fortitude and, you know, wanting the ball in that last shot. Yeah, I would agree because she definitely wanted it because um, she got it by accident. So yeah. she got the ball by accident. But, you know, a wasn't afraid to take the shot. And that's yeah. what we need. We need these young kids to step up and just not be afraid. Yeah. And what do you take away? Obviously, you know, it's a great, it's a good non-conference win. Um, you go and head to a pair of conference games this week. What do you take away from pulling out a victory like that as you head into conference play this week? Well, I think it was the experience that we really needed. We haven't had a game where it's been that close, back and forth, mm-hmm. up and down, and then definitely haven't had anything that close at the buzzer. So uh, I think that that was really good for us to at least be able to practice and be in that situation. And, and again, still even review it and see what we can do better for the next time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you're home tomorrow. You host Lebanon Valley. Um, you know, a team that's always competitive, is always in the mix. And then you go to mm-hmm. Arcadia on Saturday. Um, what's kind of mindset? I know, te- you know, 
the kids are kind of, you know, gearing up for finals and things like that. So mm-hmm. what's the mindset going into these two games? Well, we're just trying to take it minute by minute. We had a really light practice and tried to make it fun yesterday just because, you know, our, our team, I'm really proud of how well they do academically. But then around this time of year, it is hard for them to be able to balance both. And we want to make sure that their um, focus is on their academics and then also just trying to take care of business in these two games. And we have to be able to do both. Um, so, you know, no different. Uh, conference is tough. Lebanon Valley, Arcadia on the road. Everything's going to be tough this week. Um, but I feel really confident that our girls are going to be able to handle that all right well great coach um you know best of luck this week and thanks for your time thank you all right for jackie boswell i'm greg royce this has been the jackie boswell show